Hello and welcome to video number four. We're going to be talking about creating bonus videos and video courses. Now this strategy is good for all levels depending on the type of video. Now let, let me explain what I mean by that. Affiliates with medium reach or super affiliates to top super affiliates video courses are the way to go. For affiliates with smaller reaches a three video strategy would be the way to go. Now let me explain to you what I mean by a three video strategy. What you can do is set up a squeeze page and put a video on it. So the video basically wants to get people or visitors of the affiliate to sign up onto that squeeze page to watch whatever video is on the inside. When the visitor signs up on the affiliates list, they see the content video. Now you don't want to give the full strategy. You want to take a strategy and you want to give about 50% of it. You want to give 50% as much good content as possible. And then at the end of the video, tell the visitor if they like the other 50% or maybe a new strategy, a new method or something that you can think of. Basically don't give the whole thing that they can get it by purchasing through the affiliates link below. If they purchase through the affiliate link below, the affiliate will have this video in hand to do the rest. So this is one strategy to help your affiliates build their lists and they're going to be happy about that. And not only that, they're going to push the squeeze page further and they're going to give you more exposure, more branding, to your business. Now let's talk about super affiliates. Launch only video courses are basically video courses that you create specifically for launch only. And these are created for super affiliates, especially if you've created it for only five to 10 people. Now I know some of you are thinking, well, I've got a limited amount of time. I'm really busy. You know, why do I want to spend time creating a whole video course? You spend time creating these because you know it will be worth it in the end. A video course has a higher perceived value than reports and such. And you can say something like, you can tell the super affiliate, hey, make X amount of sales and you can get resale rights to the video course, etc. So there are many different avenues that you can take to get the super affiliate on board because if you approach a super affiliate most of the time they're used to people saying hey i got this awesome product blah 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 blah. but if you approach a super affiliate and say hey i got this awesome product but not only that i noticed that your list and your products are all about x and my product is very similar and you can tell them that you've created this video course specifically for about five to 10 super affiliates that you've chosen by hand and that not everybody is going to get access to this video course. They're going to definitely feel honored and most likely if you do it right and you've got a good product and got a good sales letter and got good conversions, they will probably jump on board. Now I know some of you are asking, how do I create a video course? Video courses can take time, but if you know how to create a video course fast, then it's actually quite easy. I'm going to show you how to create a video course fast. The easiest way to create a video course fast is to take one method or strategy and create some sort of sequential step-by-step -step instructions like this. Okay, so think about a strategy or think about a method or think about something in your report, book, software or whatever and then just write this out step number one first you do this step number two and be as detailed as you can like for example step number one do this and let's say for example the strategy is how to wash your hair so step number one is wash your wet your hair step number two uh, wash it in a certain way or something like that. Step number three, watch out for this roadblock while you're doing it. Here's a cool strategy and so forth and so forth and so forth. So you get my point there. Just put it step by step. 
create steps all the way to the final step and then create one to five minutes videos for each of these steps until you hit the final step. And there you go. You've got a full video course and you can package that up, put it together, and there you go. Now, how do you record video? There are two items that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sort of video screen capture software, and you're gonna need a microphone to use. I recommend the Blue Machines Yeti USB microphone. But I'm gonna show you what it all looks like and what it all entails. I'm gonna give you examples of video screen capture software, both paid and free, so that you have different avenues to take. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is the types of video screen capture software that you can use. If you create five minute videos, Jing is the best way to go, just cause it's cheap and it's easy, and it's really, really easy to use. So to access Jing, just go to Google, type in Jing, and you'll find this site. It's basically techsmith.com slash Jing. The second piece of software is called Camtasia Studio. This is a little more expensive. It's about $300 compared to Jing, which is a lot cheaper. In fact, right now I'm using Camtasia Studio at this moment. Now, if you don't have any money to invest or you don't want to invest more money into other software. There are other softwares out there. There's one called Easy Vid, which is a free video maker. And there's one called CRUT Computer Recorder. As you can see, you, you're able to record the screencast or screen. There's another one called Screencast Omatic. That screencast dash o dash matic.com as you can see here and as you can see maximum recording time is 15 minutes but if you pay $15 a year there's no maximum and that's actually quite cheap compared to Camtasia so those are video screen capture softwares now I want to talk about microphones there's one microphone that I have found that has been the most useful and this one is the Yeti, the Blue Microphones Yeti USB microphone. And this is compatible with anything with USB. And this is it. It's good to have a pop filter if possible and a stand if possible as well. well once you have the right software, the video screen capture software along with the microphone, everything else is going to be really, really easy to do. And you don't have to have a fancy microphone like this. You can actually get another microphone like an Audio Technica microphone and this one here is just as good 